Hello guys, we're at the Navy of Carolina EDC. This is Santa Tara Vito. We get, got the Battle of the Micro Pistol here. And what I have available is what we're gonna be using. Uh, wanted to do this for a little while, now that I have the opportunity to do so. Um, wanna give my opinion on some of these pistols that I really like enjoying shooting. What is the pros and cons of each one? How accurate I'm with, how reliable they are, and overall, which one would I choose? Comment down below if any of these pistols are your favorite. At the end, watch the whole video and see which one do you prefer the most or which one do you carry daily. Now the summertime's here, uh, the micro pistol is the way to go. Being slim, compact, easy to carry with some of them have them great capacity nowadays with the you know technology coming out this one this year. We have various opportunities to have more rounds in a very compact pistol. Now the pistol that we have today uh, that we're gonna shoot, we're gonna start with the Glock 43X, which is um, one of the micro pistols that I really like. Um, very versatile, very, uh, so much aftermarket, uh, you know, support for the Glock. You can do pretty much anything with this thing. This is the uh, most popular pistols out there. Uh, again, this is the 43X with the uh, magazine shield arm, so the Palmetto or whichever magazine out there. You got a uh, micro pistol with a capacity of 50 round plus one. So great, great pistol there. And again, you can do so much with. Now, one of the pistols that I've been very fond and popular with, of course, is the Taurus here, the GX4. Now, this is the carry model. Uh, they do have one smaller this with less capacity, but this one uh, got a great capacity of 50 round as well in a very slim line pistol. Optic ready as well with the rail, whatever you want to put in it. The Taurus GX4 is very, very slim and very nice pistol. Also, great carry pistol at a great price. Next one, just recently got this one, video coming up. If not, you seen before this. Again, uh, Palmetto State Armory has been one of my favorite company ever since the beginning. Being a South Carolina native, living near Columbia, Palmetto is one of the big companies that I've always been supported to from the beginning, and I continue to support them as well. They keep innovating, keep coming out with great, affordable price firearms uh, now and days. And this is one of them. Now this is the C1, which is compensated. So um, you know it's not. It's going to be the longer slot out of all of them, but still a micro pistol again with the capacity of 50 rounds uh, magazine. That do, they do make the magazine, and you know they have various, various, various options available that you can get. Also optic ready. All right, the next one. This is what started all the six hour P365, and this is the X macro. Uh, one without the compensate, but great, great pistol as well. Really like the micro. I've never been a big fan of my, uh, sick, but once I got the 365, the very first one, I was very impressed how accurate I was with this pistol. Uh, now they have different versions of it. Now this is the X macro again. Now this one is going to have probably the most capacity, being 17 round. Still slim, small pistol, and very fun to shoot. Optic ready as well, and you can put a light on it as uh, pretty much all of them except the Glock, you know, Glocks and everything. But all right, the next one is going to be the Springfield Hellcat. Now, this is the Pro model. Again, just like the 365, they started with a very, uh, very compact size and they have innovated uh, different models nowadays, just like the P365. Now, this is going to be a little bit thick aftermarket parts as you can see you can get all this aftermarket market parts here if you can want to customize your pistol from Tyrant CNC design now this is going to be 50 round magazine plus two I think if I'm not mistaken so you have uh, great capacity the ergonomics optic ready sights and everything um, great pistol should sure. really like the Hellcat Pro and I have tried all of them so that's the contenders for today. Hopefully this video is not too long. Sorry for this, but it's a lot to kind of go through and give my opinion which one. This could be my most preferred pistol to carry for this summer. All right, enough talking, let's go shooting. You ever get all the spam calls, spam emails, make you wonder how's your information been uh, getting out there from scammers to uh, data breachers or whatever it may be. We just wonder how you get it. Well. I decided to do some digging and see what I could find about my personal stuff. Luckily, I couldn't find anything personal in my information, and that's because I've been using 
Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura has been working hard in the background, alerting me any personal information is being sold on the dark web or by data brokers, and even automatically removes my information from data brokers' websites, giving the peace of mind. This is especially important right now with the recent AT&T data breach where over 73 million customers' records were released onto the dark web. AT&T recommends using a strong password, monitoring account, activity, and considering credit freeze or fraud alerts, but with Aura, all of this taken care of for me. I don't have to juggle any multiple apps or worry about my data being compromised just because the company couldn't keep up secure. Aura is always there, doing heavy lifting and keeping me safe online. And I value my privacy, and I value yours too. That's why I recommend heading over to Aura slash Carolina EDC to get your two weeks free trials where you can check out Aura and what they have to offer when it comes to personal protection. Appreciate Aura for being a sponsor of this video again, and let's get back to the video. Thank All right, guys, we're gonna start with the Glock 43X here. We are using a 124 grain full metal jacket ammo, and we're about five, seven yards from the target. And again, I'm gonna put a fresh target on each pistol just to show you me personally shooting the gun, behind the gun, how accurate I'm with. They all have red dots. They should be pretty close to sighted in. But at seven yards, it should be much. And um, if it ain't, we'll see how, how good of a group, uh, basically, I can be with this gun. All right, enough talking. Let's start shooting. All right, Glock 43X. All right, five rounds each time. Here we go. All right, let's go check the target. All right, Glock 43X. We got one, two, three, four, five. Not sure what happened there. I was pretty consistent here, but then I moved down to the left. Again, I was using iron side, I wasn't using the optic just to try to get the best opportunity for the gun. But as typically, just about any gun, but mostly Glocks, I always tend to shoot low left as usual, but that's trigger pull, grip, all kind of things that can vary, vary uh, you know, vary that from being uh, not accurate with the pistol. But as far as you go, this is what we got. All right, let's continue. All right, guys, we're gonna move to the Taurus GX4 carry model. Five round as well with uh, 124 grain. Again, seven yards, new fresh target and everything. This time we'll use the red dot. All right, so more accurate, of course, with the red dot, or might say green dot on this one, Viridian. Make sure to check out Viridian. But as far as the gun goes, I always like the GX4 Taurus. Very nice pistol to shoot. Let's go check target. All right, guys, with the GX4, of course, I use the red dot or green dot, whatever you want to call it. A little more accurate with it. Having a flyer down here, but got one, two, three, four, five. And I think that's a lot better than the Glock, of course. I should have used the red dot just to make it fair. But anyways, for me, shooting it myself, that's how accurate I can be. All right, let's move to the next one, so stand by. All right, guys, now to the Palmetto Micro Dagger. Again, five rounds, new fresh target, and we're gonna use the optic. All right, here we go. All right, run them all, just fine. Let's go check the target. All right, guys. About the same as the old one, a little bit of the same thing. One, two, three, four. Pull that one on the bottom. I don't know what I'm doing. But anyways, pretty similar to the uh, GX4, but pretty much on target. All right, let's continue. All right, guys, next one. The P365 X Macro, five rounds, 124 grain. We're using the hollow sun on this. All right, let's see what kind of accuracy I get out of this one here. All right, really like this macro here. Fits my hand perfect. It's not, seems to be too big. High capacity of 17 rounds. That's a lot of power. All right, let's go check the target. All right, guys, 365, we got one, two, three, four, five. Just went to the right, not sure. But anyways, five rounds on the paper. Again, I really need to sit down and bench rest these pistols and have a good accuracy and set it in at the right 
distance for every one of them. But other than that, I got three here. I don't know, I must have pulled those two, but either way, I got five rounds on the paper, and yeah, again. All right, let's move on to the last one. Stand by. I right, got the last one. That's gonna be the Hellcat Pro. Again, five rounds, 124 grain. All right, here you go. All right, so far so good. Let's check it out. All right, guys, definitely more accurate. The side needs to be bringing it up a little bit, but we got one, two, three, four, five, and definitely more accurate with the Hellcat Pro. Again, it's just me, me shooting it. But let's go back to the table and talk about more about the pistol and which one I prefer the most. So stand by. All right, guys, you see me shoot these five pistols, and so far the Hellcat Pro has been the most accurate I'm with. Again, roughly, uh, as far as the shooting goes, uh, it's kind of hard to say, but I think the Hellcat Pro is a little bit less recoil than most of them. Uh, but other than that, as far as ergonomics, the Glock 43 is uh, less desirable for me. It's a little bit more snappier than most of them. As far as the grip texture goes, it's not as much as I want it to be. Again, that comes to preference, but you can always put some grip tape or get a stipple or whatever it may be. There's so much you can do with the Glock 43. Uh, as far as the um, you know customization now the gx4 uh, the ergonomics are very nice slim and everything and pretty much all of them is going to be pretty much slim but the texture on the taurus is one of my favorite as far as the texture goes and i really like it a lot and uh it's one of the more aggressive texture uh that i have right now on as far as the pistol go now the Palmetto State Armory Micro Dagger is very nice, but the ergonomic is not as good as the other ones. Um, it is uh, not aggressive as it is as the other ones, but just the way it points for me, if you see my video on the on this one here, um, I had to adjust my, my front side to fall down because the way I present my firearm, um, the front side is a little bit higher, so I have to adjust down a little bit, but not bad pistol. Being that it's compensated, I thought it was going to be less snappy, but it ain't. It's just about the same as GX3, uh, but that's, I guess, depending on what ammo you use and everything. Now, the 365 again, is one of my favorites as well. Um, you know, I've been a big fan of the 365, and like I said, SIG is not one of my favorite uh, pistols, but uh, the 365 lines are very nice, compact, very nice, um, you know, pistol out of the box, and optic ready as well but as far as the texture it's not as aggressive the gx4 but kind of almost there but it's still not a bad gun to shoot and it's not snappy at all now the hellcat pro is also a great pistol to shoot uh capacity 15 rounds again and you can customize it again check out tire and design they got some great stuff now this one i did change the trigger on it uh but it's just a flat shoe uh nothing else having changed as far as the internal goes just about all the pistols are here are uh factory haven't done anything to the trigger uh other than accessorize this one here which again um the ergonomics on this one's very nice fits in the hands real well kind of aggressive but not too much um i like to be a little bit more aggressive and um as far as that goes uh you know i'm the most accurate with it so far um as far as the capacity again they're all the same as far as the pistol goes they all carry real well i have carried all these pistols uh you know glock is one of the ones that i not shoot very accurate but again i have read that so um it makes it a little more accurate for me but other than that uh every single one of them functions well uh, you know as far as that goes is um not bad at all prices uh i think the most expensive and i'm mistaken is going to be the hellcat pro uh follow up with the glock 43x and then uh 365 i think is um kind of high end at the most if i'm mistaken i think the 365 is a little bit higher when it comes to cost but the psa dagger and the gx4 are going to be the less expensive between three to four hundred dollars so that's very good if you want um pistol with uh, great capacity uh, as far as they all come at least two magazine except for the psa daggers only comes with magazine which is um i don't know why they do that but um only comes with one magazine but you can get 15 round magazines instead of the 10 round magazine that comes with a glock which they should uh move up to the 15 round mass i'm pretty sure they can do that i don't know why they don't do it but 
Um, as far as capacity, all of them are 15, except for the Glock 43, which you have, again, get an aftermarket magazine to up your uh, round capacity if you want to carry 15 rounds. Again, they got two or three companies. Um, as far as the dagger and the Glock 43, uh, does fit, works. Um, so is the Glock magazine, will work in the dagger. Very good. Um, triggers. I say, uh, as far as the trigger goes, I think the GX4 is going to be uh, one of the best triggers out of the factory. It's got almost like a semi uh, straight trigger. No take up. Pretty good reset. Not bad at all. Uh, Glock 43, as far as that goes. Uh, it's just a standard Glock, nothing fancy. Mushy, take up, break, reset, break. Uh, as far as the <clears throat> Palmetto Micro Dagger, it's got almost like a hinge trigger, kind of similar to the uh, Smith & Wesson's MMPs, which is not my favorite. Uh, very long take up, wall, break, reset, break. Not a bad trigger, it does the job, but it's not my favorite. The 365 trigger is flat from the factory. Got a little bit of take up there. And break. Reset. Right there. Not too bad. Break. <clears throat> as far as the Hellcat Pro, the factory trigger is not the best, in my opinion. And like I say, I like my flat trigger, so I like this tire and design flat trigger. Again, all I did is change the shoe because it feels better. But as far as the trigger goes, a little bit of take up wall. You have to match it almost all the way to the back. Reset about halfway. A little bit of take up, break. Um, but yeah, as far as the guns go, um, never had some issues out of neither one of them. Um, 365 when I did the video I have maybe one to three my function but I think it was ammo related but they all function very reliable I ran self-defense ammunition on them um, they all work fine uh, as far as reliability goes uh, but to me I think the GX4 is going to be one of my favorite guns uh, to carry uh, capacity uh, Hellcat Pro is nice as well um, more accurate with it, but of course, if I have more time behind each gun, I could be more proficient as anybody would if you train and, you know, train and uh, shoot your gun and be, uh, you know, learn it, get the accuracy up and everything. But that's pretty much it. Um, as far as uh, reliability, all works fine. As far as the grips, like I mentioned, the GX4 is one of my favorite. As far as the trigger goes, GX4 is one of my favorite. Also, the price point is very, very affordable with the GX4 when it comes to price. If you care, if you want to get a concealed carry pistol, and like I said, they're all going to be optic ready for your RMC or uh, Holosun uh, K4, whatever it's called. I don't know, can't remember. But um, they're all going to be pretty much the same footprint, and you can use pretty much any optic that's going to follow that footprint. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Just a quick little video, Battle of the Micro pistol here uh comment down below which one is your favorite which one do you own which one do you prefer uh or which one you have experience with as far as reliability uh, you know whatever it may be comment down below if it's good or bad um you know start the comment let's talk about it again that's the best way to get information out there just kind of give everybody their own feedback when it comes to this type of micro pistol which they're very popular nowadays now that summer's coming around uh, you know, a lot of people is going to be carrying the micro pistol because it's less bulky, uh, smaller, and easy to conceal when it comes to micro pistols of this size. And the capacities are going up on pretty much all of them, the ones they're coming out with, uh, except for the Glock, of course, <laughs> which they need to come out with the 50 round magazines when they sell them and ship them. Um, PS Dagger, again, they should add another magazine. Again, if it's going to be a carry pistol, you want to have a backup magazine in case something happens as far as the magazine or run out of ammo for some reason, 50 rounds, who knows <laughs> where you're at and trying to, you know, defend yourself. But that's pretty much it. All right, guys, 
If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, like, share. Comment down below again, which one is your favorite, which one you prefer, which one you carry, what your experience are, and everything. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're not following me on social media, make sure to follow me on Instagram when I'm very, very, very active over there posting uh, this type of stuff. Uh, kind of give you an, uh, you know, a sneak of what I'm working as far as reviewing or making videos, whatever it is. Uh, just kind of give you a sneak peek of what's coming up on the channel as usual there's a link tree in my bio on my instagram where you can check out all discount codes any of these products or anything i have reviewed in the past there is a link there and it's affiliate link that's one way to support channel uh gives me a kickback you make a buy purchase and that's pretty much it all right guys as usual thank you for watching and i'll see you the next one goodbye